Hi and welcome. This is the tutorial video for WP Link Fixer from WP Toolkit. Once you've downloaded your plugin, come into your WordPress admin, go to Plugins Add New, click on Upload Plugin, click on Choose File and navigate to wherever you've got the file stored on your local computer. Click on that file, click on Open, and then click on Install Now and follow the instructions to install the plugin on your website. Once that's finished, you should end up with a message that says the plugin install is successful, and you can then find your plugin by scrolling down to the bottom of the page, and on the bottom left-hand corner, there will be a link for or WP Link Fixer like this. Once you've clicked on that link, you'll end up on this page, which is the WP Link Fixer settings area. Now we have four separate tabs for the different areas of settings that you can change. We also have a report tab, which I'll have a look at, and there's the help page, which is where this video appears. Now we're gonna start off with the external links page, which allows us to control all external links on our site. And all we need to do is set the plugin to active. Then we can come down and change the rel tag to no follow, which is what Google's looking for. Then we can also choose to overwrite all existing link values. You may already have links that have follow on them, so this will make sure that everything is then given the no follow rel tag. There are other tags that you can choose as well. They do all sorts of different things. None of them are really applicable unless you've got a specific need to them. For instance, UGC is user generated content. If you are putting links into the comments area, then you may want to apply that. But mostly we're going to need the sponsored link. Ticking that, will apply the sponsored and the no follow tags under the rel tag to all our outbound links on our site. So any existing link, whatever kind of link it is on any existing content will now dynamically be changed so that it has rel no follow sponsored as the tag. There is one other thing we can do as well. We can set this so all links on external links to external sites can open up in a new window so that people aren't actually leaving our site when they click on that link. They're actually opening a new browser window in the browser and all we need to do is tick the box here for yes once we're happy with the settings we can click on update settings and that will take a second or two to update and that's it basically done now every outbound external link from our site for all existing content will have the rel tag no follow and sponsored and it will be a compliant to google's spam link update however you may not want to put the sponsored tag on all your outgoing links they may be to other sites that aren't affiliate links or aren't sponsored links, in which case we have another option which is covered under links by domain. So what I'm actually gonna do is untick the sponsored option and again, click on update settings to change that. Once that's updated and those settings are now saved, I'll go across to links by domain and have a look at that instead. Now this basically allows me to be a bit more specific about which links I'm gonna add the no follow and sponsored or UGC or any of the tags to. So again, I'm gonna make it active and again, I'm going to change the rel tag to no follow. I'm going to tick the sponsored option. And again, I'm going to get them to open in a new fresh window. What I'm then going to do is specify the domains or URLs for my affiliate links. Now you should know which affiliate programs you use. The common ones are things like Warrior Plus, JVZoo, ClickBank, PayKickstart. So those are some good examples. Now you'll notice in the background here, we've got an example of a domain using a wildcard, specifically JVZoo, because JVZoo is the domains that are normally JVZoo jvz1.com, jvz2.com, jvz3.com, etc. And you don't know which one you're going to get until you actually get that link, and they can vary. So rather than have to add all of them in, you can use a wildcard, which is open bracket, full stop, close bracket, or open bracket, period, close bracket, depending on whether you're American or English, basically dot. So what I'm actually going to do is paste in some pre-written ones that I've got. So pay kickstart, warrior plus, jvzoo with that wildcard in it, as you can see there, and also so Clickbank, and again, Clickbank, I've got a wildcard in there for all different links that I may have through Clickbank, because obviously there are again a lot of affiliate programs or a lot of offers available on Clickbank, and this will make sure that all of them are covered. So now again, I'll click on update settings. So once that confirms that settings have been updated, if we go back to links by domain, that will now apply the rel, no follow, and sponsored tags to all the outbound links that go to these particular domains. So links that have these domains 
or URLs in them. So now we're working at two levels. We have our external links overall, so all links are covered with a nofollow tag and opening up into a new window. But then we go on to specifically our affiliate programs because we're working with a few affiliate programs only that I'm then putting the domains in here and we're adding the sponsored link as well as nofollow. Again, this is more specific. If you want to be just blanket coverage for the spam link update under Google, then you can use external links. But if you want to get more particular and have the sponsored only for your affiliate links, then you can use this to do so. Now, the third option is links by category. It's exactly the same thing again, but now we can define, but now we can define those different tags by a particular category of posts within our blog. So again, all I need to do is tick the box to make it active, choose the particular category or categories, hold down the control key to tag more than one, then choose a no follow link and overwrite existing values if I want to, open a new window if I want to, and again, choose sponsored or whichever other tag that you want. Again, the sponsored one is the important one for Google. Once you're happy with the settings, simply click on update settings and it will get those done for you and let you know once the settings have been updated. Now, with regard to the order of priority in which the plugin looks at those different settings, it will start with the links by domain. So it'll look at these first, then it will look at the links by category and then everything else it will fall back to external links for. So that's the priority order it works in, links by domain, links by category, and then all under external links. Now, the next option we have available is exceptions. And this is quite simply where you can put in an exception to the rule. So for instance, I can exclude any URLs that I want. In this case, I've added in my main sales page site for my plugins, which is WP Toolkit. So all the links to WP Toolkit will be excluded from the rule. So they won't have no follow added. They won't have sponsored added unless I've actually done so on the link itself. And you can do the same thing, post IDs, just paste in the list of post IDs separated by a comma. Okay, the next page we're going to look at is the reports page. And this is simply going to give you a list of all the different links and pages that have been automatically updated by the plugin so that you know they've been correctly fixed and had the rel no follow and sponsored tags added or whichever tags you specified. So all we're doing here is giving you a list of them all in case you want to manually correct any or change any. So you can scroll through and have a look if you want to. For instance, here's one I spotted. This is an affiliate program that I think has been dead for a while. So I should probably go in and manually delete that link because it'll actually probably be a dead link entirely. So an easy way of finding out any links that you need to fix. This you don't really need to worry about. It's there in case you want to see which links are being fixed. They are being fixed. So it's being dealt with and making sure that your site complies to Google spam link update. It's just a way of you seeing what's going on if you want to. And the last page, as I mentioned earlier, the help page, that is where this video will appear once I've finished it and added it to this page. Okay, so that's WP Link Fixer. It is very, very quick and easy to use, very quick to get up and running, just set up for external links and maybe links by domain and you'll be covered straight away, saving you all that time of having to go back and fix links in your old existing content to make sure that your site is Google spam link friendly. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please do feel free to get in touch if you have any feedback or questions.